Good morning, everyone. Pastor Wes here, and this is episode six of our daily devotional, My Utmost for Satana. Our passage of scripture today comes from the book of 1 John, chapter 5, verse 16. It says this, If anyone sees his brother sinning a sin, which does not lead to death, he will ask, and he will give him life for those who commit sin not leading to death. You know, a lot of Bible studies are about things that uh, that we enjoy are interesting, but then there are some that uh, are less comfortable. And today's passage uh, falls firmly in that category, I think, for most believers. This idea of talking to our brother and sister about sin in their life. Uh, in my experience in the church, we don't do that that often. Um, for a lot of reasons, one, out of desire not to be viewed as judgmental and, and out of a desire to keep the peace, and out of a desire not to come across as hateful to one another. Uh, and also true because uh, it's uncomfortable. And, um, you know, we, uh, we can't ignore the fact that that is in Scripture. And if we're going to live a rounded life of faith, we can't ignore that. And at the same time, those church traditions that seem to be most known for this idea of discipline and correction are also the ones that seem to be most known for a spirit of judgment and a spirit of hypocrisy. So what is a believer to do? Uh, in, in our house, we have a uh, downstairs bedroom, and I like this bedroom. It's dark and it's quiet, but imagine the state of his soul that was dark and was quiet and was isolated. It wouldn't be a good thing. Um, quite the opposite. It would be awful. And that is what it is to have a soul that's bound by sin. Now in this room, there's also a small window where at the right time of the day, sunlight can come in. And that is what an extension of love and grace is into darkness, into spiritual darkness. And that is what I think the experience of having somebody come to you in a spirit of love and say, Hey man, or hey gal, I think there's a problem. And I want to point you, I want to point it out to you. I want to steer you clear of it. And so I would say, you know, it's, it's um, constructive to figure out how do we get to that place. Um, how do we get to that place where we have that conversation? And there's a couple things. I would say, first off, we have to have an active, healthy, ongoing relationship with the Holy Spirit who guides us, who leads us. Um, and uh, as Jesus commented, we have to have a deep love for our neighbor. Um, our, our actions, especially these ones, uh, really should be led by profound love. And so we must have profound love. Now, I'll admit I have been in this space once or twice, uh, maybe once more than that, where I had to go to somebody and, and say, I think there's a problem here. Um, and, I, man, I didn't want to do it. <laughs> I didn't want to do it. But it was almost like I didn't have a choice. It was like I was pulled to it. And at least one time I had no intention of saying anything. And it's like, Burp! Holy Spirit raised my hand and said, no, you need to speak. And, and I just spoke without even making a clear decision to do so. But I think that's instructive. I was led. Um, led out of a deep love. You know, it's so easy to look at what somebody is doing or what's going on in somebody's life and say, that ain't right. Y'all need Jesus. And uh, and keep that to yourself or to say it to the third party, say it to somebody else. Do you see what they're doing? Man, it's just so natural to avoid that situation. But that is uh, uncomfortably inconsistent with who we're called to be. If God, if Jesus did not come to the world to condemn the world, but to save the world, and we who are his people are called by his name, then, uh, then condemnation cannot be in us. And yet, we have these scriptures that say that we need to intercede for one another and watch out for one another, be our brother or our sister's keeper. And, uh, and so uh, if we're going to live out that Christian life and live that mature life, then uh, I don't think we can skip that. That's not an act of love, seeing a pitfall in front of somebody like sin and ignoring it. And so today, I'm certainly not telling you to run out and have that tough conversation but man, let's love God so much and love our neighbors so much that we would be willing to do that, that we would be willing to have that conversation. And I can't promise it'll always work out. It has it for me. Uh, but what it has done is it led me into a deeper walk, a deeper life of faith, a deeper experience of the Holy Spirit, and a deeper confidence that I'm living the life that I'm called to as a Christian. Until we meet again.
God bless you.